Now that the warm weather is here, more people are spending time out in the yard again. And those who are looking to make some improvements are finding a big increase in cost and availability. And tonight's Your Money Matters, what it takes to put in a new deck or fence this summer. Last year was our best year until this year. Now this year tops last year. The pandemic brought a big boost in business for backyard builders. More people sitting home, you know, now they want to improve their property. A trend that's only grown this year. I'm getting about a dozen phone calls a day. I'm out this year. I'm done. I can't book anymore this year. It's not only a struggle to find someone to do the work. Everybody's looking to get something done and not enough people to do it. The material costs also mean homeowners need to plan a much bigger budget. We've seen price increases on everything. It doesn't matter if it's chain link, ornamental iron, cedar, vinyl. Uh, I guess we've seen it across the board. No matter what material offense you're looking to install, the prices are up 30 to 50 percent from the same time last year. A standard deck uh, price increase probably about 30 to 40 percent compared to last year at the same time, same materials. The price of lumber has many people looking to build a deck now jumping to what used to be the higher end option. Nowadays with lumber prices, um, the lower grade composites are actually the same price as cedar, so it, it just makes sense to make the jump to the composite. Composite actually has only gone up 5 percent. Now the other big problem is the wait time for materials. What used to take maybe two or three weeks to ship can now take 10 to 14 weeks to arrive, which means contractors are having to plan months in advance to make sure they have materials on hand for their summer projects.